Hello everyone. Today we'll be talking about abstract. There is a misunderstanding or myth or mystery, whatever we say. Some people they think that abstract and an executive summary they're the same thing. But in actual fact, no. They are entirely different thing. So how they are different? Let's take a look of this. First of all, abstract. If we take a look of this first point here, most research articles I repeat, emphasis is here on research because this is an academic work. So abstract is suitable for academic work, uh, not anything else. So most research articles and reports are prefaced by an abstract. One thing I should mention here, abstract is something like prefaced or uh, it appears um, just building off any manuscript, any journal any work but does it mean it is written at the beginning of your work no not really and abstract is written uh, basically after finishing everything then the abstract is written at the end but putting at the top next one an abstract is an overview of the entire text this is very important one so this is an overview of the entire text and the next one is an abstract is sometimes called a synopsis yes um, number four this is very very important point here unlike the introduction which leads to the audience to the body of the text the abstract is a text about a text that means it provides a commentary of the text that follows from beginning to end. The next one, next one is, is a short, about a half to one page summary. Here, uh, let me clarify, if it is your journal paper or conference paper or working paper, basically it is like half of a page, all right? Uh, Sometimes they give like uh, word limits, let's say 250 or 300 or uh, maybe sometime 160 to 220 something like this so if 150 to 220 words this is very short quarter of a page not even a half so here one page summary this one page refers to your thesis your masters or MBA or PhD yes for that case single space one page is okay but basically it is not even a half of a page it is something like quarter of a page where each new sentence introduces new information so that a concise summary is achieved without paraphrasing so we need to understand what does it mean all right uh, the next one yes the abstract is usually written impersonally of course this is an academic writing check that your abstract has at least one sentence about each section of the report. Uh, it is um, in the same order. It should be written after the report is completed. That wa that's what I was just saying. Uh, it is not written uh, at the beginning of your work because we don't know that time anything. So after contacting the research, each and everything is done. Then only we write after writing at the end, putting at the beginning. So this is an abstract executive summary. How this one is different than uh, an abstract. Okay, so this is something like corporate, not academic. So corporate work is associated with an executive summary. Next one is called, uh, we can say like this, the summary, which is like executive summary, may consist of several pages. Okay, here in abstract, half of a page, quarter of a page, not even a page, all right? But here, the executive summary may consist of several pages, a long report, and may include headings and dot points or numbered points. In abstract, only one paragraph. Just remember this, no breakdown, nothing. Only one paragraph for abstract. However, here, we may have headings, few subheadings, few dot points, or maybe some numbered points. But here in abstract, no. Okay, next one. It must uh, be concise and without fine detail, uh, providing a, a commentary, of course, main points. Um, so here only the main points and following the sequence of the report itself. So here we have a little more 
freedom to abstract each and every sentence is very very important but here executive summary yes if we want to write we can write a little more so next one is called uh, what we say is uh, like the abstract this is something like similar thing it should be written after the report is completed when you have an overview of the whole text and placed on the first page of the report so only the last point is something like similar of course executive summary if we don't know anything how to write so after completing the report then only we write executive summary just like an abstract other than that each and every point is dissimilar so here um, this is the adapted forms this is the reference okay here I to write an abstract we have eight components eight steps the first one is like topic sentence or uh, thesis statement this is optional this is very general sentence the next one is called purpose yes we may see that most of the abstract starts like the purpose of this study is to blah 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 like this so the next one is the purpose uh, sometime it appears the first option because this is the topic sentence or thesis statement is an optional case so the purpose appears the first if we omit or ignore or neglect this part okay the next one number third is design or methodology approach uh, the next one is called findings yes after methodology you have to do findings after findings the next one contribution uh, remember this this is also an optional point in abstract uh, followed by implication yes if any if we don't have maybe we have recommendation um, but uh, most of the cases if we have some implications it is better to put implication okay the second last is called originality or value the last point is uh, limitation and further research this is another optional uh, point from here we can see there are eight steps um, or eight components that should be considered in an abstract let's take a look how these eight components can be uh, written right so this is something in detail guide to writing an abstract so we have topic sentence as we discussed uh, or this statement this is optional maximum uh, two sentences or so two lines so one or two sentences uh, mention the title very general sentence as a by purpose this is two lines maximum and then can take an example like this the purpose of this study is to uh, just now I have mentioned about that refer to your title sentence and followed by design or can be research method sometimes we call research tools maybe for business we say design or methodology or approach or uh, something like this okay maybe three to five sentences or three to five lines sample size of something blah 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 so these all like population sample sampling techniques and everything sampling break but make sure that not more than five lines or five sentences for the thesis and for the manuscript not more than three sentences right this one is called findings followed by design or methodology part we write the findings again three to five lines or three to five sentences maximum three sentences for your paper or manuscript for thesis yes we may have maximum five sentences for so five lines and how to start this section yes the findings show that or the finding shows that or uh, something like this the finding reveals that uh, like this followed by contribution number five uh, after this finding this is something like extension uh, I would say yes this is something like extension so if somebody has this maybe this is optional as well so this is called contribution minimum five lines for thesis and three lines or three sentences for script okay the findings is helpful to I mean this is an extended part after your findings here in number four so number six location as I said if you have implication uh, two to four lines or so two to four sentences um, like the industry or business or enterprise or regulators or government NGOs policymakers academic marketers whatever can you use those writings to achieve or to enhance what okay? so this is implication okay. after that 
originality or value like one to two sentences maximum. Well, this research is an eye opener for whatever you, you just write. Okay, and then followed by the last one, limitation and further research or limitation of feature research. Sometimes you, you can put like this. But that's how we write the limitations and further or feature research. Now the question is whether these eight components are compulsory. No, these eight components are not compulsory as we just checked from the slide. Uh, we have at least three components. Those are not really compulsory or mandatory. So without this, how a precise abstract can be written? All right, so that's how a precise abstract can be written just like these components here we have one two three four and five so the first one is purpose uh, reflects on the process of summarizing research um, i think it is understood already followed by design methodology or approach uh, i think this is also understood followed by findings as i just explained and then implications and finally originality or value if we have something like limitations or contributions we can add in of course we can add in one thing i haven't talked about is called keywords okay this is very very important for manuscript for the thesis for your phd or masters or mba uh, it depends some universities they encourage to put keywords some universities they don't but definitely if it is for journal paper conference paper or other working papers for those kind of manuscripts this is a mandatory part called keywords so now we know how to write an abstract right so thank you so much for watching this video hopefully our abstract will be really like an abstract not executive summary thank you so much